you feel like you have a hard time keeping your baby occupied every single day? In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the items that we use that all cost under $50. So let's jump in. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jimmy with The Active Dad and this is my five month old son, Brady. So the first item on our list is the first thing that we use actually every day, right after he feeds. This guy tends to spit up if he doesn't stay upright. So we put him in this Fisher Price sit up chair for about 15 minutes as soon as he feeds. Uh, uh. It's also nice because then we can go around and do our morning routine, whether that's make coffee, get things going for the day. The next item on the list is something you've actually heard me talk about before in my top six must have newborn items, but now it's making this list for actually different reasons. It's the Morocco Nightlight. And the reason it made number one on my newborn list was for its function as a nightlight. The reason that it's making this list is for its function of a multicolored light. We found that he would stop crying whenever he would see it. So sometimes when we're changing him and he's crying, we would use the nightlight. And we actually started to notice that when he would look at the nightlight, he would start to reach for it and he would start to actually roll his body. So we thought that we'll use it to make him try and roll. And it turns out that it was something that actually helped him roll over because we'd put it over his shoulder and he would reach for it. Right here. Oh. oh, good job. So we love this Morocco light and it continues to provide its value. So the next item, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hold on, baby. So the next item on our list are books and it's no secret that babies love being read to. So we swallowed the lizard to catch arms covered on the underside with tiny sucker. But you need lots of books. And you would think that, why do I need so many books? He's not even gonna remember the story. And the reason is for yourself. You get tired of reading the same book over and over. And honestly, as parents, we like reading and we have books that are favorites and we have books that we don't like. So we love books. Next up, we have teethers. And we have lots of teethers because he tends to get a little fussy with when he just has one for an extended period of time. So then we need to switch him out. This keeps him occupied because he can just lay on the ground for a half hour or longer. These, these teethers get him stimulated and, and they tire him out. A couple of our favorites are this rainbow bracelet that gets him really wound up. His next favorite is probably the bully ball. This one's great because the child can't really control their hands and so they're always pulling their hands you know, far apart really quickly. And so if they have this with both hands, it bends with them. One that he's really taken a liking to recently is this munch mint. He could go to town for hours, not hours. It makes some sound, so I think he likes that. And then it's got a rubber end. Teethers, anytime he's fussy, we can give him a teether and he's good to go. So next on our list are music boxes, or really anything that makes sound. First music box that we ever had was this one up here, Frankie Beats. We think that he also loves them because it has a face and, and kids love faces, but he just loves hearing Frankie Beats go. Another thing that's great about Frankie Beats is that he'll play music as soon as he's hit. So every time Brady hits him, he can just start playing instead of you know needing to press an exact button, which can be hard for babies. Another one that we've just recently started using is the Einstein Baby Activity Center, I think it's called. Not only is it fun for him to press it, but then he also likes to lay down on the ground and we'll just hold this up to his feet and he'll just start kicking. Just recently we started acquiring musical instruments because we noticed that he really did like the music, so we want to start getting him musically inclined. So we bought some bongos and a xylophone. Those ones we're still working in. He's not as entertained. But we use them every day and he does enjoy them. Unfortunately, not all baby gear is under $50 and when you're making an expensive purchase, you wanna know that you're making the right choice. So click the playlist on the screen to see my most recommended baby gear items. <laughs>